Okay, so I wanted to read this article to you and it's in The Express and it's about David Beckham and Victoria and their relationship with Harry and Meghan. And I've seen this churned out many times now where they speak of David and Victoria and how they were close with Harry and Meghan because that comparison, we see them at their wedding. Who didn't we see at their wedding? It was like a red carpet event. It was like an Oscar kind of do it wasn't people that have invested in them it wasn't high school friends it wasn't any family it was pew after pew of celebrity a lot of them who didn't even know them George Clooney and Kamal they even referenced that you know it was it was a networking event it wasn't anything other than a big stage for them to project maybe a master plan maybe for when they stepped away from the royal family and they garnered Hollywood in which we've watched they were setting up the fandom they were setting up the links the connections it's just a shame they chose their wedding day in order to do that you know I don't think being invited to Harry and Meghan's wedding signals your close friendship to them so I'm just going to read this real reason David and Victoria Beckham ditched Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed and we all know why they have ditched them and stepped away because they simply morally don't agree with what they've done how could anyone and we know with David Beckham he's very much humble and grounded he family we watched him queue up for the Queen for hours and upon hours because his nan and granddad, if we're alive, would want to be there that day. And he'd done it in honour of them, the Queen and the woman that he mingled in in between because the Beckhams are. They're notoriously massive celebrities. They've got the money, they've got the cash, they've got the links to the royal family. And Victoria Beckham was probably the perfect person to help teach Meghan Markle and learn other ropes as she garners the celebrity, but she also understands the royal you know like it's 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 that but I just feel like their moral compass just could not agree with what they watched him do to his brother you know David and Victoria Beckham were once good friends with Prince Harry and Meghan Mark however this appears to no longer be the case David Beckham was spotted at a royal engagement earlier this week see they do the royalty they do the celebrity with Prince William which was a welcome surprise for many royal fans however while the pair have been pictured together before and our room is speak of friends some people were left wondering why Beckham had not been seen with Prince Harry who was in the UK less than 24 hours before at the Wild Child Awards despite the fact the footballer had been at Harry's wedding to wife Meghan Markle in May 2018 it appears relations between the Beckhams and Sussexes have become strained over recent years I wonder why that could be you know what relationships haven't become strained with Harry and Meghan and anyone that was in their life before before they gained their strength to leave and find free um oh, I've gone off the run now I've lost where I was um Beckham's now seemingly bonding more with Harry's brother Prince William royal expert Richard Eden claims a number of reasons have resulted in David and Victoria Beckham drifting away from Harry and Meghan including their views on family there it is there it is strip back this is not about celebrity and to compete this is about what you do in how you treat your family and the one thing with David and Victoria Beckham the one constant they have which grounds them to the floor is their family their humble beginnings and how you just wouldn't do that to your old frail gran you know it's basic it's basic people can speak about race till the cows come home it is about the fact they've took family to the main stage and pulverized it in front of our eyes telling us this is the new way this is the modern way to lead no it's 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 not the right way it's wrong it's it's gross in it's it's ugh, you're not better than the rest in doing what you've done and we see that as you sit there with no one around you know and, and the longer this goes on and you think Thomas Markle senior that day will come and where are they gonna be is she gonna be there with a black veil over her face one's here left eye let's go you know it, it's just the more they isolate themselves away the more damage they create the more they step out on the main stage the more damage they create they can't win but they change this they 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 decided to do this David had always been an ardent royal 
Baptist who would stand up for the Queen's speech every Christmas dressed in his Sunday best and you can imagine David Beckham doing that with his gardening and what he does he's proud of his country he's proud of his monarchy years later he queued for 12 hours to view the Queen's coffin when her body was laying in state so it is perhaps no surprise that the Sussexes attacks on the royal family failed to impress the Beckhams and everyone else we reckon both David and Victoria put great importance on family and would never ever turn on their relations the way that Harry and Meghan did. And not many would. It takes a certain person to be able to do that and not carry that guilt, to be able to sleep at night when you've placed your family in that light, you know? One of their associates tells me the truth is that Victoria never really liked Meghan much. She was friendly and welcoming to her, but is not bothered about staying in touch. And that's, you know, she will help out. She will mingle. She will do what she needs to do. When Meghan came on the scene, she will embrace and try and show her the ropes for the royal family's sake, not hers. The Beckhams reportedly began experiencing problems with the couple before their 2018 wedding, according to the Daily Mail. The footballer and his fashion designer wife had out Meghan and even let her stay in their Los Angeles pad when she experienced problems with paparazzi while visiting her mom in America. In America, would that be the American paparazzi or would that be the British? Victoria also came to Meghan's aid after she moved into Nottingham Cottage. Not Knott's Cots. The low ceilings. Oh no, that was Frogmore, wasn't it? Excuse me. It has been claimed the fashion designer reportedly gave Meghan advice on makeup and a member of her staff provided with a help on facials and hairdressing, all free of charge. However, this became public news soon after, with sources claiming that Meghan believed it was the Beckhams who leaked it to the press, which they denied. Like, to be honest with you, David and Victoria Beckham have managed to hone in this control over the media. They understand the game. They know how to play it. They give a little bit and they control it. You know, they have boundaries set up, but you have to play the game in order to be in a chance of winning it. And when you've got celebrity on that scale, you need to, you need the media and the press to place you out on the main stage. You need them in your pockets also. Like, how hard is it? Whilst Harry's there going and slaying the dragons and putting them all out, you, you're damaging your own platform and stage in which you need to place it all out. It's like basic common sense. And Victoria and David know how to navigate and manage this. They are the perfect example of how to maintain a healthy balance to family life, to celebrity and fame, to dealing with the media, to not enter these games. Then Harry and Meghan just came out the bay, out the gate and just like <laughs> annihilating everybody and everyone, failing to realise the ones that got them there in the first place and the ones they needed to keep them out in front of our face. So yeah, that's just a rant. It's a bit of a out there for me, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and the reality that just because you went to Harry and Meghan's wedding, it does not instantly create this, you know, long bond of friendship because that was just a networking event. And that's what the people see. That's what the British people see. The ones who paid in to this day of celebration and it turned into a Hollywood celebrity with no family around in our moral compass looked at that. And yes, it frowned. So these are my opinions, my thoughts expressed to you like a true movie review on everything they expressed to us and more, you know?